Social media users have claimed Paris had been hit by a power outage, but nothing had been confirmed. Several users took to X, formerly Twitter, posting videos and pictures of the city, suggesting Paris had been left in darkness after a supposed blackout. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Red the Narrative, where it's okay to be curious, like and share, subscribe with the notification bell for future video uploads. And drop a comment. Paris hit by a power blackout claimed social media users a day after city was battered by rain, by heavy rain, and transport system brought to their knees because of protesters. So Paris seems to be having a little bit of a rough time there. But this is this was picked up by social media, not mainstream media. You won't be able to find any or to confirm any of this on mainstream media. Social media users have claimed Paris had been hit by a power outage, but nothing had been confirmed. Several users took to X, formerly Twitter, posting videos and pictures of the city, suggesting Paris had been left in darkness after a supposed blackout. However, there has been doubt cast over these videos allegedly, allegedly showing the French capital in darkness. The, rumors out the rumored outage comes as the 24 Olympics endured a turbulent start, including travel chaos as trains were brought to a halt amid a massive arson attack. Heavy showers battered the city and wreaked havoc, forcing several sporting, sporting events to be postponed, while Friday night opening ceremony received heavy criticism. Friday opening ceremony was not among the best that we have seen in the history of opening ceremony but this is all a uh, social media claim the the mainstream media it's yet to be picked up by them and as a result we'll have to take this with a grain of salt we have to be cautious about how we look at these claims because we haven't really seen it coming out of paris we're not seeing um the athletes saying anything and <clears throat> mainstream media is quite hush hush here Celia and fraser price is one of the sweetheart of athletics of sports overall she had been receiving her flowers in every at every turn and she's in the Paris Olympics the final Olympics as far as we know and she's banking on her experience to bring glory in Paris although her preparation had not been ideal this season national sprint icon and three-time Olympic gold medalist Shelly and Fraser Price had expressed that she's banking on her years of experience in the sports to topple her competition and bring herself some olympic glory and that is not just for herself it's for the country as well fraser price had run sparingly this season due to injuries um she told the jamaica observer in an exclusive interview that she didn't have the best preparation this year however she's very much confident in her years of experience because you know that sometimes like knowledge having the knowledge or the experience is like half the job most of these athletes who are quite ready and prepared they're not experienced so the experience that Shelly and Fraser Price is bringing is what would set her apart from the rest you'll have a lot of athletes the younger athletes who are very confident in their chances of getting a medal Oblique Civil is also banking on a clean execution for a medal you know every athlete is ex have a, a specific training plan and they will be looking to execute according to their coach's direction to get what to get the best out of their event civil is banking on a clean execution to get that medal you see in bolt said that oblique civil a healthy oblique civil will medal at the paris games if he execute completely because he have the coach for it and we all know that uh, Glenn Mills is one of the best coaches. The record speaks for him, for itself. Otto Boden, a Trinidad and Tobago sprint star back in his day, said he is picking Kishane Thompson for Olympic glory as well in the 100 meters. We all have heard that Noah Lyles had been saying a lot of stuff about the 100 meters and we have seen the times and we all know that Kishane Thompson have the time, the best time. Public Seville ran a personal base of 9.82 slowing down while Noah Lyles ran a personal base of 9.81 going full throttle and while he's considering himself to be the best he is still he, he still have hurdles and the two biggest hurdles being the Jamaican athletes in Kishin Thompson Public Seville now Otto Bowden is saying that he is fancying 
Kishe in terms of to win Olympic glory is only thing that he would say could go against Kishe in terms of just might be the fact that he's not as experienced as a no one else. So that might be the only thing that could go against him, especially that he had to run the rounds. But based on what we've seen at the Jamaica trials, he had run the rounds and we saw what the results were. He got faster for each race. And the other thing for Noah Lyles, he had run the rounds and he got faster during the rounds. But also, he had to run the 200 meters as well. So he has a much heavier schedule than what the Jamaicans have. We, we have seen some younger athletes banking on various things to bring glory to Jamaica as well. We have seen where Natasha Gould is urging Jamaicans to be a little bit more empathic to the athletes when they see them out there performing because these athletes are representing for the country they are putting a lot on their shoulders and they just would love to get the support of the country she is asking for them to stop the foolishness and stop bashing the athletes the athletes are doing their best so just support the athletes and with J. Dan Ebert a gold medal prospect he's saying with the help of God it is likely that he could get a gold medal for the country with the national high jump woman record holder Lamar Destin says winning the medal at this year's Olympic Games winning a medal at this year's Olympic Games in Paris will be within her reach as she aimed to create history by becoming the first Jamaican to win a medal in the event uh, in, the, in, in the Olympics so there are various athletes very hopeful, very much prepared, and they also know what is at stake. They also know what the obstacles are, and they also know what some of the distractions are. Jamaica head coach Wilson getting 2008 vibes from Paris, and if you're getting a 2008 vibes, it's a historic vibes because what we have seen from the Jamaican athletes in 2008, it was a breakout star in Shelley and Fraser Price, very young, going up against veterans, athletes who were expected to medal, and she just blew them, but she just blew past them. Will we see a young athlete coming out of Jamaica giving us something similar? Will we see athletes medaling in events that they probably wouldn't have otherwise medal in? The the flag bearer Ricketts is targeting a 15 meter jump for the podium. So these athletes are prepared, they are very much encouraged and confident. They are endorsing the colors, they are smiling. It looks like it's a good vibe in the camp. Nobody knows exactly what the entire vibe is like, but it's a good vibe in the camp. I was saying yesterday we, first, we, we got an opportunity to hear a little bit from Kishan Thompson and uh, MVP athlete because the MVP athletes had been a little bit more under the radar than most athletes We have seen a little bit from him heard a little bit and it's just a caption from his photos that he, he put on his Instagram He was saying that the man for the mission is ready is blocking out the noise and he's ready is understand what the mission is and it is Paris mission You know people had been going to his post immediately saying you have one job just one job alone, and that is to get gold medal for Jamaica Oblique Civil. He also said that he can't, he, he, if all three Jamaicans execute properly, all three could make it to the podium. They are very confident that this group of athletes are strong enough to get to the podium in the Olympics. Could this be a very historic year? Could this be a flip of what we saw over the years where the women had been dominating and now it's the time for the men to be dominating because we have a good crop of athletes represented for the men in the 100 meters. Um, could we see a gold medal for the one on the 4 by 100 meters as well? Noah Lyles is banking and winning four medals if he is able to represent for in the 4 by 4 But a lot of people are saying that Noah Lyles could find himself losing two of those gold medals to Jamaica in the 100 meter men and the 4 by 100 meter men and that would be a shame, big shame but it is very much likely, it is possible he will have to dig deep and while he's digging deep, Jamaica is digging deep because the experience is also there, the talent is there and they are looking forward to represent at a high level and replicate something that we had seen in 2008 
the only obstacle I think right now is some of those little controversies surrounding the Paris environment. You see where they had the outage from the alleged outage. The rain was battering the city. And I was watching some of those cycles, some of those races where they had to ride the bicycle in the rain. I was concerned for the athletes' safety. You know, it's not the environment that they would have preferred. But, you know, it is what it is. They cannot postpone the event because of a natural phenomena. But criticism is there and it is real. Paris is not one of the most loved city because of the history of Paris and its ties to some regions in the West Africa region there, you know, the Francophone side of things. So there you go. There you have it. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the outage. Do you think it's true? Do you think that it is just something to throw us off? Do you think the athletes have a chance of replicating what we saw in 2008? And your true feelings about Kishane Thompson getting that gold medal versus Oblique Seville because we have seen where the conversation was about Kishane Thompson and Noah Lyles but Oblique Seville is also in the conversation and he has some of the biggest endorsement. Drop your comments down below and let me, let me know what you think. Create narrative, like, share and subscribe.